Hi guys, um, this video is going to be my January favourites. Um, before I start, um, I just want to apologise for looking so tired and pale um, and I sound a little bit husky, but I have a cold, um, but I'm cracking through. Before I show you the items, I just want to kind of explain that it's a little bit eclectic. Um, but it's just the things I've kind of reached for most over the month. Okay, so the first item would be a necklace and it is from Topshop, if I can get it the right way. And it's this really cute owl and it's multicoloured and it's on a bronzy kind of tra chain, train, chain. Um, and it's really long and it's, as I said, it's from Topshop and I really like it, it's just fun. Um, the next item is a nail polish. It's um, this one here, it's... Can I see that? NYC um, New York colour, one of the nail glosses one in black. I've been wearing it all month. Um, the reason I like it so much is I try to always wear a base coat, but we all forget. Well, I always forget. And so far it's not stained my nails, which I really like. And I think it was like £2, £3. So, yeah, and it's it doesn't ship that easily and I like the whole you see it's quite shiny on the nose. The next two items are from a range and it's called Big Baby Jewelry and I know that gives you visions of men in adult diapers and it's a little bit scary but I found this um, these products in a store um, over in Newquay which I think if any of you guys from the UK um, most people know where Nuki is because at some point in your life you'll have a girls or lads holiday there to get very drunk and club and kiss strangers. Um, well they have a lot of shops there and us locals kind of go there in the winter months. Um, and they have good sales because not many people are there in the winter. So yes, um, first is a brooch and um, yeah, like that and it's like a little rainbow with a red and purple star and I've actually been wearing this to work and I know it's very not corporate however when what how I wore it was I had this black um, dress and a little black cardigan um, and I think I had some simple diamond studs in and just just that it just gave that little bit of colour, it was just, and it's fun, and <sighs> I'm 29, and, and I like a little bit of fun. Um, so yeah, it's plastic, they're really cute, and yeah, it just made me think of Rainbow Bright and being an 80s child, and I like it. It's not everybody's taste, but I like it. Um, the next item is from the same range. Um, I must admit, I wore this one a lot. It's just a little black hairband. If I pop it on. Um, and it's got a little... Oh, hello, ear. Yeah. It's got a little gingerbread man on. Again, very cute. Again, it's fun. I think a lot of people in January, because they have colds, and they're not very happy. Um, I have a ten... And, you know... If you care about your weight, I suppose, you know, you're starting to feel a little fat over everything you've eaten at Christmas. And everybody's on a diet and everybody's broke. And just find, like, a little bit of this. Or of this. Or. Oh. This. It's a popper colour and it's fun. And it makes me smile. The next thing is a little bit random because I don't think many people put these in their favourites but mine is the Adidas Woman Fresh 3 Action or Action 3 Fresh deodorant. I got it from Tesco's, it was on special offer. The reason I like it is because it doesn't smell or it's kind of, there is a smell there but it's kind of like a clean fresh smell. Um, I don't like deodorants that smell, just because, you know, you spend a lot of money on perfume and that's what I want to smell. I don't want to 
you know, put on my perfume and all, all I can smell or taste, oh, tasting deodorants, all you can smell is your deodorant. I, just, I don't like it. And yeah, it's got a very light smell, should we say. And it covers, you know, it does what deodorant does. And it wasn't expensive. But I definitely will be buying this again purely because I choose to smell like my perfume and not my deodorant. The next item is um, some Bedhead Some Like It Hot um, Heat and Humidity Serum. I love it. I have used this before, if I'm honest, um, but I started using a VO5 one for some reason. I think probably for the cost. Um, but I love it. I love the smell. I only need. I have long hair. You can say I. You know, it's quite long, um, and I at least blow dry it every day. You know, some days I straighten it, some days I curl it. But you know, there is heat on my hair every day because I can't go to work with wet hair, that's ridiculous. Um, and you need the tiniest amount. It smells divine. I must admit, um, a couple of weeks ago, um, it was like a Sunday and I got out of the shower and I put this in my hair because um, I was going to dry it, blow dry it. And then something happened, I think Darwin needed something. Um, by the time I'd done, dealt with Darwin and dealt with whatever the, the drama was, and my hair dried naturally, um, and even without putting any heat on, it, it kind of made my hair look better, if that makes sense. The next item um, is a hairspray. It's a super drug one. Um, it's just the natural hold with Pro Vitamin 5. It's a bit shiny, so I don't think you can... It's just a super drug one. It literally was like £2. And it, I really like it. I like the smell. I like the hold. I don't like... I don't like people looking at your hair and going, <clears throat> that girl's got a lot of hairspray in. Um, I secretly quite like seeing hair, you know, when it's back combed and it's huge. But it's it's just the whole, you can see the product. And I'm not judging people that do that because I think if I had more balls, I'd probably do it too. Or if I was 10 years younger. Um, but I just don't like, I don't like seeing product. I quite like, like my hair's quite flat today because I'm poorly. Um, I normally wear my hair quite big, but I don't. I don't. I like you to just see. Oh, you know, Katie's wore her hair straight today, or oh, Katie's put curls in her hair. Not oh, Katie's got a shit load of product in her hair. So yeah, I like it. It's bargain. One of my favourite perfumes is Clinique Happy. I love it. Um, I must admit, I did run out. And I was, I think I was wearing my makeup. I was alternating. It's so extreme. I was like, oh, between J Lo Glow, which I do secretly love, and Chanel Number no. Five because it was literally the only perfume I had left before Christmas because then everybody buys me perfumes. So um, I got oh, got this giant bottle from my mum, mother and father-in-law. Christmas. I love it. I've already kind of caned it slightly. Um, you can normally go to the clinic counters and they'll give you the little samples so you can bang them in your makeup bag or your handbag. But I love it. Love it. Um, it'd probably be my favourite every month. Um, apart from Chanel number no. 5. I know it's an older lady smell. Um, I tend to wear it like Christmas Day and my wedding anniversary. I don't know why, it just makes me feel grown up and womanly. That sounds really strange. I didn't wear that perfume on my wedding day. I wore Valenti very Valentino, just because um, that was the perfume I wore on my first ever date with the hubby, so that's what I wore on my wedding day. Kind of rambling here. But anyway, Chan um, Chanel, no, Clinique, happy, love, love, love it. Okay, so that was all my favourites this month. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, you can rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, thank you. Bye-bye.